Hello YouTube! I am here to address what you have all been waiting for and that is fixing the whole motion sickness thing. Finally mounted my camera. Hopefully this helps a little bit. I also put up a backdrop. Do you like it? Spent so much time on it. No, I'm just kidding. I went to the dollar store and bought a bunch of hearts. I'm so crafty. So after getting a ton of requests to do this, I am here to present to you the Lazy Girl's Guide to Valentine's Day. Also, in addition to that, I am going to be doing... Are you ready for this? Are you sure you're ready? I know, I'm very excited about it. So today, we're gonna to be addressing Valentine's Day for the Taken LG. Love it or hate it, Valentine's Day is here again. It's kind of like the Kardashian of holidays. We acknowledge it because society demands it, but it's largely overrated and annoying. Regardless of whether you're single or taken, Valentine's Day has something wonderful and joyful for all of us. For you lovebirds out there, get ready to start planning because the only thing Cupid loves more than archery is making couples go out and make an event of this cold and snowy day in February. And also, it like quadruple the price, am I right? For all my single ladies out there, get ready to have your life overanalyzed and your mom calling to set you up with her dentist son. Oh, but darling, he's in med school. My mom doesn't sound like that at all. Today is part one, so we're addressing the Lazy Girl's Guide to the cheesiest holiday of them all, Lovebird Edition. So here we go. All right, so you got yourself a boyfriend. You're wifed up, or maybe you're an actual wife. Doesn't matter. End game is the same. On February 14th, you have plans, my friend. I know, he's super awesome, and he'll even only grumble once about how stupid The Bachelor is every week. Hashtag winner. But that still doesn't mean you want to plan anything more than like an hour in advance. Regardless, LGs are team players. We don't have to keep putting all the expectation on the boy to wrap the whole night up with like bows and diamonds. Actually, wait, hang on, I take all that back. Tip number one, plan a day date together. So it goes like this, and let me know if this sounds familiar. So it's February 12th, we're just chilling on the couch, watching some Netflix, it's at night, which is always the case because realizations will always come when it's too late to do anything about them. And you realize that Valentine's Day is two days away. It's February 12th? Why didn't no one tell me? You have done nothing to prepare for this. Zip, nada, zipola. So you spend the next few days in a panic blur trying to make it seem like you spent months putting together this sweet and thoughtful surprise. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't yell my girl! Don't tell Chris. But did you ever stop to think that maybe your man is doing the exact same thing you are? So let's make this year a little bit different and plan the day together. The 14th is a Saturday, first of all, so you have no excuse at all. And depending on how married slash how many kids you have, like putting together the time to plan the date's basically a date. Am I right? Am I right? You know I'm right. <laughs> it's so true. <sighs> okay, so you may be asking, okay, Rachel, I'm an LG. I'm here because I don't have any ideas beyond frozen pizza and die hard. All right, fair enough. Boys do love both those things. Some examples of things you can do without breaking the bank include ice skating or baking or Wii tournaments. Ha! In your face! At the end of the day, the whole goal is to spend more time together, right? Tip number two, be thoughtful and sweet without actually spending a lot of time being thoughtful and sweet. Post-it notes are one of my favorite ways to show your man how much you love him without actually spending more than, what, like an hour putting it together? And you can watch reruns of Friends while you do it. It's like a win-win for the lazy girl. Just write down a whole bunch of things that you like about him or fun memories or whatever you want and then post them all over the house. Uh, ooh, you are a great dad. Oh. Oh, I'm so bad at this. It's like a really fun scavenger hunt, but instead of finding Easter eggs, you find unexpected compliments. Although now that I think about it, it would be awesome if I could combine both of them. Ooh, that's what I'm doing next year. We put the post notes with the chocolate, post it all over the house, right? <sighs> I have these moments when I film it's the best thing ever. Side note, for my younger LGs that perhaps aren't living with your man, I would suggest putting them into a mason jar instead. I did that one year for Chris and I put 52 notes into the jar and Chris opened one every Monday for a year. It's like the gift that keeps making you look good all year. You're welcome. Tip number three, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And to be honest, same Z. Chris made me dinner on our first date. Now we're married. Coincidence? Maybe? Spend some time in the kitchen putting together a slow cooker recipe. Slow cooker recipes are my absolute favorite and definitely the easiest thing for a lazy girl because like all you have to do is, you know, chop things up. I'll put a couple of recipes in the info bar below in case you are interested in trying some up for yourself. These are ones that Chris and I have used as of recently and absolutely love. So definitely highly recommend them. And if you don't have a slow cooker or a crock pot, that you need to go and get one like right now. How can you call yourself a lazy girl if you don't have a slow cooker? All right, time for tip number four. It is time to get dolled up. So our girl today is not the Netflix and onesie day. If you have some time and wanna play around with makeup, check out my Getting Ready With Me video where I did a whole makeup tutorial on um, look for Valentine's Day. But if you're rolling your eyes right now because it's 4 p.m. and you still haven't brushed your hair, then 
keep watching. First of all, like, brush your hair. That's a given. I say that coming from the girl that like ran her fingers through her hair this morning. I was hoping that if I put on a bold lip, you guys might not notice. Nobody's judging me, no. So first toss it into a high ponytail and then braid said ponytail. Pull apart at the little links of the braid and then twist it around into a top knot. A braided top knot is a way of saying, I made an effort when we both know that you haven't showered today. For the makeup, let's be real. We want minimum effort for maximum effect. Beyond doing the standard concealer, foundation, blush, mascara, blah, 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 blah. We need to do what I call the lazy girl liner. All it is is taking a black waterproof liner and tight lining the inner part of your upper lid. If you have not done the lazy liner, you need to add it to your repertoire. This is not a drill. You don't have to worry about, oh, is it straight? Is it crooked? Is one wing up and the other one down? It is my go-to for adding a little extra oomph to your beauty routine without like any effort. And lastly, we need to address the color palette of Valentine's Day, red, white, and pink. As per my beautiful backdrop. I don't know why they're these colors. They don't even look good together, but like whatever. So the easiest way to look festive is to add a bright pop of pink or red on your lips. And to make sure that it does not budge throughout the entire day, my trick is to apply it and then blot. Apply it and blot and apply it and blot three times. Three times. Here's the magical number. I don't actually know if it is, but that's what works for me. Okay, and then here is the winning trick. You put a very, very thin piece of tissue over your lipstick and then you blot on top with a translucent powder. You'll let that sink in for a second. It is gonna make sure that your lipstick does not move the entire day. Win! And tip number five, the last resort for every lazy girl, the card. Being sickeningly sweet, not your forte. Don't worry, me neither. Somehow as a society, we've decided that Valentine's Day equals being mushy and gushy all day. And TBH, I all kinds of fail here. Instead of spending all day wondering what the right thing to say is, turn to the ever favorite Hallmark card. Cards are great because you get to pass off other people's emotions as your own. It's like socially acceptable emotional plagiarism and you only spend like $10. And that's everything for the Lazy Girls Guide. Don't forget to share and like and subscribe and all those fun things because it it helps a lot. And it helps me know that you guys want to see more of these Lazy Girls Guides in the future. So stay tuned for the next video, which will be my Lazy Girls Guide to all things single. This one's gonna be fun, I'm excited. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And that is everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all on my next one. Love you girls, mwah!